Hello friends, welcome back to our tutorial designing an impressive architectural building in Revit 2018 Metro. If you have been following along, go and open the file 00 underscore 013 underscore DIAB underscore M where you save it. You can also download this file from the website. In today's tutorial, we're going to create a floor for our project. Click the file tab and hover the mouse cursor to save us. Select project. Rename this file to 00 underscore 014 underscore DIAB underscore M and click the save button. Double click the graph floor plan view to open the ground floor plan. Go to the architectural tab, building panel and select the floor command. In the draw panel, click the pick line button. Avoid zooming into this area. Avoid the mouse cursor into this wall and press tab key. Click to select. You will see the wall goes to the center of the, the wall. Now click the undo command. Select the pick line button again and enter offset distance of 75. Now avoid the mouse cursor into this wall. Avoid the mouse cursor into this wall and press the tab key. Click. If you don't, if you, you find it difficult to use this method, you can click the wall one by one. Select the trim extend to corner. Select this wall and this wall. Click the modify button. Avoid your mouse cursor into this sketch line and press the tab key. Click. Hit delete on your cable. Select the pick line button in draw panel. Zoom in into this area and pick this wall. Pick the face of this wall. This wall. Repeat the same thing over here. Pick the face of this wall. Select the split element command. Make sure that the delete inner, shape, inner segment is checked. Click to this area and click to delete this inner segment. Click to delete this get line. Zoom out. Select the pick line button. Avoid the mouse cursor into this wall and press the tab key. Enter offset distance of 75. Avoid the mouse cursor to this wall again. Press the tab key. Press the tab key until the entire wall highlighted. Click. Again, if you, you can't use this method, you can select the walls one by one. Select the with the pick line button still selected, change the offset distance to zero. Pick the face of this wall. This wall. Now change the offset distance to 2000 millimeter. Find the drawing up. Pick the face of this wall. This wall. The face of this wall. The face of this wall and the face of this wall. Click the pick line, pick line command, and change the offset distance to 1400 millimeter. Click into the empty area, click this wall, this wall, this wall, this wall. Select the trim extend to corner. Select this line and this line, this line, this line, this sketch line and this sketch line. Select this sketch line, this sketch line, this sketch line, and this sketch line. Select this sketch line and this sketch line. Select this sketch line, hit delete key. Delete this sketch line. Select this sketch line and hit delete. Avoid your mouse cursor to this sketch line and press the tab key. Click to select, hit the delete key. Use a window to draw a short sketch line under this sketch line. Hit delete. Zoom out to see the entire floor. Click the green check mark. We have an area that doesn't close, so leave it complete. Click continue. Zoom in into this area. Click the pick line button in the draw panel and click the surface of this wall. Click the green check mark. Click continue. Select the trim extent to corner, select this object and this line. 
Revit continue to complain until you address all of the issue before it allows you to complete the process. Click the modify button. Now the floor is being drawn. But the floor that we have, this is not the floor that we need. So click the down arrow with the floor still selected and change to 150 millimeter generic. Go to the default 3D view to see the result. The floor is being drawn. Now we want to draw the floor for the first floor view. To do that, select this floor, select copy, click the down arrow, align to the selected level, and select the first floor view. Click paste. Now click the edit command double click the first floor to open that view and click the align command zoom in into this area click the core face of this wall and align this object to that face select the face of this wall and zoom in and align this object select the select the face of this wall, align this object, select the face of this wall and align this object, select the pick line button, click to place a sketch line into this wall, select the split element, split this wall and select the align command, click the face, the core face of this wall and pick this button. Click Cancel, Revit Complain, click the Modify button, select this sketch line and hit Delete on your keyboard, select the Pick Line button, click the core face of this wall, select the Trim Extend to Corner, select this object and this object, select the Align command, change the offset to 1400mm, offset this face into this direction, and change the offset distance to zero and pick the face of this object and the face of this object now select the trim extend single element click this object and extend this object select the trim extend to corner select this sketch line this sketch line select this sketch line this sketch line. select this sketch line and this sketch line click the modify button click this sketch line hold down control key click this sketch line and click this sketch line hit delete on your keyboard avoid your mouse cursor and press the tab key click to select the chain and hit delete on your keyboard select the pick line command click the face of this wall select the trim extend to corner Select this floor, this sketch line, and this sketch line, this sketch line, and this sketch line. Click the modify button. Avoid your mouse cursor to this sketch line. Press the tab key. Click to select and hit delete on your keyboard. Click the green check mark. Click continue to close this area. Select the trim extend to corner. Select this sketch line, this sketch line. Click the green check mark. If it ask you if you like to you like the wall that goes up to this floor level to attach at its bottom select yes some of the wall this obey will just click detach and it's done go to the default 3d view to see the result click the zoom to fit command go to the quick access toolbar and click the save button Alright, we're going to end this video here. In the next tutorial, we're going to copy the carriage down to have a different level with the rest of the other ones. If you like this tutorial, please click the like button and share it to your friend. If you have any question or any suggestion, please leave a comment below. If you want to continue this tutorial or any other tutorial on my channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next class. Goodbye.